in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to access variables and other scripts in a much easier way by using singletons. I'll be explaining to you what they are specifically and how to actually use them and create them. Hello everyone, it is CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Unity Idle Games tutorial video. This is episode 2.1 and this is part of the 2021 series. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be explaining what singletons exactly are and how to make them and how they can be a huge lifesaver. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on the bell for future notifications of videos and live streams. Anyways, just, just hop right into it. So first of all, we're going to need to open our controller and our upgrades manager. So let's do that. I'd like to kind of explain what singletons are. So singletons is more of a concept rather than an actual thing that you make. Like it's not just like labeled singleton, right? Like you have a class, it's called a class. And it's not like that, okay? It's it's a concept really. So basically what it does is that it prevents you from having to create these right here. We have to drag your scripts into the manager in here in your controller scripts, like right here, we have the upgrades manager and the controller here. It'll basically just eliminate that process, which will be a huge lifesaver. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to our controller, delete this first line right here, the upgrades manager. We're gonna get rid of that and go to our upgrades manager and we're gonna do the exact same thing, get rid of controller. So real quick, I'm gonna show you why we wanna create a singleton and exactly what it does and how to make it. So first of all, let's just say we wanna access data inside our upgrades manager. So in here, previously we would have to make a controller object in here that we're gonna have to just assign in Unity. So to prevent that, what we could do is just call controller.data. Now the problem here, so let's just set this to new data for example. The problem here is that data is non-static. And we're trying to access it statically, okay? That's what this is doing right here. So if we make this static, right here, static data, this will work. But the issue here is that, so how do we fix that? Well, let's get rid of this here. Let's get rid of the static here. And all we gotta do is create a static instance of our controller script in here, our controller class. So we just do public static controller instance. That's all we do. Not yet, we have to assign this, and we're gonna assign this before anything, okay? Before even start is called. So you're probably asking, well, how do we do that? Well, there's a secret method called awake, which is called before start. So now we're just gonna create a private void awake, and in here, we're just gonna set instance equals to this, which is this class, this object here. And we can create this into an expression body, which is the arrow, like that, and that is all we need to do. So now, what we do in instance here, is that we can just do controller.instance.data and that will work just fine. So now, if we were to replace our controllers here, because we're gonna have some errors here, all we need to do here is do controller.instance.data. Cool. Now, another thing we can do is just create a temporary variable, such as uh, data, and we can set it equal to controller.instance.data. Now, this will make it so we don't have to type controller.instance a million times. Now, we're only doing it once, but I'm just gonna keep it like this anyways. Otherwise, we can just do controller.instance.data, and we can do the rest here. And since we're doing controller here quite a few times, I'm just gonna create this variable here and just do, and just get rid of these controllers here, like that. So now let's do the same thing for upgrades manager. So again, we wanna create a public static upgrades manager instance, and we're gonna assign it to this, this class right here on awake, like that. So now when we go back to here, Instead of doing upgrades manager, we could just do upgrades manager dot instance dot start upgrade manager. That is it. That's literally all that is. So anyways, if that was easy enough and if you enjoyed this video and if you learned something new, make sure you smash the like button. Consider subscribing if you're new and turn on the bell for future notifications of videos and live streams. Anyways, if you want to support the channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below and maybe consider becoming a YouTube member. Just click that join button below. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching and thank you guys all for your support. Thank you to all my Patreon members and my YouTube members. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and night. Peace.